Hello there, and welcome to my next really cool 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial, um, you will learn how to load models externally into Game Maker. As you can see here, we have a really cool model here. And this model, there is absolutely no way you could ever make it in Game Maker. So you have to load it externally, and make it externally. So I'm going to have to show you how to do that. very cool little thing there okay so now we have to show you how to make it first so the program to do that is Teddy now I really like this program what this program does is all you have to do is draw something and it'll create it as a 3d object so you draw it Okay, forget that. Okay, so you draw an object like this, and then it creates it as a 3D object. Now, I'm going to have a, um, a link in the description so that you can download this program. And anyway, then you make heaps and heaps of really cool 3D objects. And then all you have to do is type it in here, or something, and then you click Save. And then you go into Teddy, so the little Teddy folder, and it'll just appear here. And then now you know how to find it. Now, um, I'm also going to give you a link to TrueSpace, which is a free program, which is a very cool program as well. So then you have to bring it into here. Now, you're going to um, need to have um, like a plugin. So I'm also going to give you the link to the plugin, and then you click this little icon here. And then you have to go into LUV, which I'll have for download for you. And then click that. And then, just one of these will appear. And then all you have to do, now to open an OBJ file, you have to click on it, and then it opens it. Now to save it, you have to select your object, and then click Alt and then click it and that will save it wherever you want now the place that you're going to want to save it is in the folder with the game otherwise it won't work so I saved my thing as thing and then it also saves a thing MTL which is very important now in game maker you're going to very much need this code object load I didn't make this I copied it too because there's absolutely no way that I would ever be able to make all this code. There's a lot of code here. So what you're going to want to do is simply copy it and make a code out of it. Now I'm going to have this for download in, this, in the description as well. Now in player, all I have to do is add um, thing, which is now a variable, equals object load in brackets thing.obj. And also these little I, um, symbols here are very important you have to have them at the end and beginning of the of the um, name otherwise it does it thinks it's a variable like if you have these things on the end then it knows that it's um, that it's an external file now in draw instead of having d3d draw shape like cone or something you have to do d3d model draw and then variable and then placing so that would be like zero zero one and then background get texture red and that's it that's all you have to do and then when you play the game it um unfortunately it takes a long time to load inside of the game so it'll do this loading bar here and that takes about the same amount of time but then it'll do this right here and it'll be black or whatever color you choose it like then you have to make um, a room before because basically what it's doing is is it's freezing so then you have to have a room before it so anyway it takes a long time to load an external model but the result is very 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 good so then so how to make this a different picture you have to add a room before that and then as soon as that room creates you have to make it go to the next room and then it'll look like what that room was. Now, anyway, 
here's the finished result once again. A really, really, really weird model that could no way be made in Game Maker is now in Game Maker. And so if you had a bunch of these, you can make a really cool looking game. Now unfortunately, it will take a long time to load, so I suggest that you use as few as possible in your game. There we go. So yeah. Um Yes. So, when you want to um uh add um like when you need to add that little file that I'm going to give you that you have to put in true space, you have to go into TSX and then put this LUUV right here. And this LUUV contains three different files. That's very, very, very important, that little um, thing. Otherwise, it wouldn't work at all. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to add terrain to your game, which is a very cool aspect. So, anyway, bye.